Hello everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House and welcome back on the BigQuery GA4 tutorial. And so far we did great, we did the events data mart, which can be used for a variety of different reasons. It can You can analyze whatever happens there, how people interact with your app or web and how they travel there. We also build a session data mart, which is going to be extremely useful for the high level KPIs, but also it's very useful if you wanted to combine it with marketing data, because usually when you work with marketing, you work with a high level data. The only thing that we don't have done so far is the conversion stuff. And I don't have conversions in my data mart, so we'll have to go and set up something and then I will show it to you. But I can show you how to emulate, emulate the conversions. So in case when you have, uh, for example, you want to analyze how many people uh, went to certain page and looked at this, uh, but you don't have visiting certain page as an event already preset up in your Google Analytics. So you need kind of emulate this as a conversion. And I already started typing this, so we'll restart it. Uh, it's actually very, very simple. All you need to do is whenever you have a person visiting certain page, just count to one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say case when this, and I'm going to copy it here and say case when param key equals page location. And what else I do? I am um, param string value like and let's pick something let's for example say that google ad scripts is gonna be my conversion i'm gonna say whenever this page location contains google ad scripts then return me one and i'm gonna put this in brackets i'm gonna copy paste this and i'm gonna put two functions first is gonna be max and the second is gonna be sum and then I'm going to say as um, user visited page. And the second one is going to be, and actually it doesn't, it doesn't matter on the event level. It doesn't matter. So it's going to be just this one user to user visited page. And if I, if I run it, I will have a, a conversion of somebody visiting some, some kind of page. And let's just double check it. Let's find the user visited page. Um, let me, yeah, here it is. And sometimes it's zero, sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's null. It's easy to fix. Let's do if null. And then if it's null, fill it with zero. And we're going to have one as a number each time the person visits the page. So depending on if you want to count it each time the person achieve the conversion or only one per session, all you need to do is in your session part, do either sum of all the ones. So if you have one plus one plus one, the person visited you three times, or you can just do the max. And if the person have visited one is going to be a maximum value. And this is how you do any conversion you want to. So again, in my data mart, I don't have e-commerce, but when you do the e-commerce, you do it exactly the same way. Nothing changes there. Uh, when you work with the app, it's working the same way you group with the same stuff. And again, nothing changes there. I will try to find more tutorials on what I can show to you and to do other videos. But the thing is, if you have any specific question right now, just drop it in the comment. It really helps me to come up with some ideas that I can show you. And also just ask questions if you have any. Thank you for watching and subscribe to this channel. Add me on LinkedIn and bye bye.